Well, hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be using this HP Sprocket printer. I love it. I'm going to be using this to help me create a, a memory planner layout. So yeah, I've already went ahead and printed off my photos. And as you can see, I print them off in different sizes. So the main sheets are a two by three. And typically, I'll get like three of them off of a sheet. So I'll have like one big one and then like two smaller ones. <laughs> and my camera is just like going instantly crazy. I'm not sure why it's doing this. <laughs> Hopefully I can try to get it to settle down. Okay, so there we go. That may be a little bit better. Okay, so yeah we're just gonna keep going here and so as you can see like i did get some like really tiny ones on here so yeah that was me trying to fit four of them on a sheet i don't know in one way i kind of like it because it gives a variety of the sizes of the photos and then in another way i feel like they may be too small so i mean we're just gonna we're just gonna go with it this is what uh, memory planning is. I mean, the main goal is to try to get your photos on the page and write some captions so that you can go back in like a couple of weeks or months or my favorite in a year and you just look back at all the things that you were doing no matter how silly or mundane they are. So there we go. That's it. That's all the photos I have for this week. And, you know, I think I'm just going to take this large one of bird up here He's just too cute. So I'm going to put that over there and I'm going to try to cover up the calendar. And you know, it seems like, okay, I have a lot of food. So maybe move my food to the center row here. Because apparently food was a big part of this week. So let's see here. These two kind of go together. Okay, I can move this one up. I do have the ice cream cones last Sunday. <laughs> I couldn't choose. I really couldn't. Okay, so there's the tooth chest and a little baby bug, which I found out was a baby ladybug. And oh, there's Bert. I knew I couldn't get away <laughs> without him planning with me. Okay, so we're going to try to remove him from this uh, just because we are working with tiny photos. And yeah, so I don't want them kicking my photos around. So let's see here. Can I fit all of these up here like this? And I think I can. I may move over that one food thing just a bit more. Just because it does look a little crowded. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to move these over. It's just a tad bit crowded. Maybe move the doctors over a bit. These are probably going to change once I start laying things down, but this is just to give me a general view. So let's see here. Let's move this printer out of the way and let's search for some washi. So, okay, so I have that blue, which reminds me of pools and blue skies. Of course, I have the green for the grass and of course that yellow and I already have the pink. So... Let's see here, I'm gonna use the blue because it is darker and it is gonna help me cover up that pink up on top. So let's just try to line this up as best as we can. It's a little tricky from the angle that I'm at, but I think we can get it across. And this is just, uh, you know, throw in some color. Oh, it's Mr. Bird again. <laughs> Look at those kitty toes. Oh, they just adorable. Oh, Mr. Bert, showing off your stuff. He loves playing with me. It's like, I don't know what his deal is, but yeah, he just, he can't get enough. Like he has to be in the photo. So yeah, there we go. So that's Mr. Bert. Um, we're just going to try to work with this page here. We're going to let him lay on that other page and we're just going to focus on this one right here because it, it, I'm just telling you guys, I don't think I'm going to get him off the page. So yeah, here he is. Mr. Bert in photo and in person. <laughs> Planning with a cat. 
So that worked really well. That covered up that calendar up there. So I don't really need that since this is a memory planner. And okay, I'm going to go ahead and throw my yellow washi down just in case if I want to take one of those smaller pictures of bird and overlap it. I'm not quite sure yet. So we're going to go ahead and get this washi down, spreading this yellow and gold foil across the page. Mm -mm. I love this yellow like right next to this pink like I don't know what it is it's just it has a very super summery vibe to it so let's see here we got the washi done on this page now it's the part that like kind of it it frightens me a bit but you know I mean you shouldn't be afraid of it <laughs> <laughs> like it always works out like I've never had a memory planner layout where I looked at it at the end and I was like ah oh, crap this sucks like I could have did better like they've always turned out great and it's because it's your photos you know like you can't go wrong with your photos these are your memories you know like Bert moving around on my page right now like oh, <laughs> oh come on Bert like really look at this guys like I think I think he does this to mess with us. <laughs> so let's move the kitty tail out of the way. <laughs> we will get these photos down. <laughs> okay, Bert's butt is telling me that I need to put this photo down below. So let's <laughs> move his hair and his little kitty butt cheek out of the way. I think we can get that down there. I am moving him before I write though. I mean, I'm sorry, Mr. Bird. You can chill out right now, but yeah. And, you know, I'm getting the vibe that I need to, like, place these in the corner, which... Hmm. Can this go across the whole... No, it will not. Okay, and as you can see, I cut that just a tad bit crooked. And it doesn't really matter once I line it up with that edge. Just again, it is a memory planner layout, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Main goal is to get your photos out. So let's see here. We're going to have these line up against the corners. So the inside ones are kind of like floating inwards. So now I need to kind of do the same thing on this side. So heck yeah. That is my Sheets Toasted Marshmallow Mocha. Yeah, cannot go wrong with that. Okay, so I don't love it as much as you, Bird. All right, so I saw that kitty face. I saw that. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, let's see here. Let's get this little washi across the page. And I don't know what his other obsession is, but he likes to lick the washi. <laughs> Probably not good. So I got to make sure that he doesn't lick the washi tape. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I always try to memory plan when he's taking a nap. <laughs> I did not do that today. Like, he knew. He knew this was happening. So let's try to get this washi down. And we're going to put it up there. So, yeah, Bert, stay entertained with that. And, okay, so this is the Be Happy box. And a little baby mini grill. I mean, I didn't have food on it yet. And it took me forever to get that fire going. I'm just saying. I was pretty proud of myself. That's the first fire that I started without the assistance of my son. <laughs> Ooh, Bert's going to take a nap. He has his washi. Okay, so let's get this down. And I think I'm just going to keep this little picture here in the corner. Tiny little guy, but that means more writing room. And okay, so that's my cheeseburger meatloaf. And I think the photo goes this way. Yeah. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and just put that down. So you, as you can see, like I kind of have like a wave going with my photos. So I have from top to bottom to top to bottom. And then that way it kind of helps your eyes flow as you're going across the page. And okay, so this is my arrow garden. And I guess that is the corner of the plate. So this one can go down first. And we're going to put our arrow garden and kind of overlap it since these two do kind of go together. That's us having a super fresh salad <laughs> for dinner. <laughs> All right, yeah, we're going to let Bert have his nap, and we're just going to move over. Come on, Bert. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, he's so cute, though. Like, I can't wake him up. I can't. <laughs> okay, and that's the doctor's store, which creeped me out. Like, I don't like going to the doctor to begin with. And it's very concerning whenever you go. And there's a whole bunch of signs on the door that tell you not to enter. Because, you know, COVID. So, yeah. Yeah, not, not really that great. So, okay, let's go ahead. <laughs> It is just an odd week. Let's let's go ahead and just start uh, writing, and we're gonna add in what I call accent stickers, just so that it's not like blah. But again, you don't want to cover up too much because you do want to write about what these uh, photos are. <laughs> so yeah, I'm digging through some books right now, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and clean up this area too. It's looking a little congested. Okay, so I think I'm going to start with this summer book. And, okay. Let's see here. What do we want to start with here? And, oh, they're so cute. And look at this, guys. Like, I actually did the colors of this book. So, yeah, we're rocking with blues and pinks and yellows, greens. Uh, the only one I really don't have on there is that orange. But you know what? We could always add it. I'm sure it will match. And okay, so let's see here. In one way, I want to use that green today sticker. And I'm loving that barbecue sticker. But it may be a little too big. Uh, this one here, I think, needs the four blocks. And I don't really have anywhere where I can just lay that four block down. So, all right. So now we got to improvise. Maybe that summer mood sticker. I'm liking that. That will help me throw the green across the page. He is... Okay, yeah. He's not going to cover up that little buggy. So, alright. So, we got to scratch that. He'll cover up those sunglasses perfectly fine. But that's not going to give me the writing room that I want. So, let's go ahead and start with this green summer mood sticker. And I think I'm just going to line it up there on the edge since it is blue. All right, so there we go, summer mood. And okay, so this is the sunrise that um, I see every morning when I'm going to work. So what can I say about this? So I'm going to try to take a negative and I'm going to try to twist it into a positive because I hate waking up at 4 a.m. I do, okay? I'm not a morning person. I'm a night owl. And waking up at 4 a.m. every morning in the summer just, it sucks. <laughs> but you know what? It's, it's wonderful to be able to see this gorgeous summer sunrise every morning when I pull in the work. So there we go. Okay, so there's one good thing about summer shifts. <laughs> And, okay, so these are the foods. Um, apparently, I was motivated throughout the whole entire week with food. <laughs> it's how I kept myself going. <laughs> that's, a, that's so sad. But, I mean, hey, it's what it is. <laughs> and, yeah, so I'm not really a cheese ravioli person either. But for some reason, on Monday... I was just craving cheese raviolis. And the weirdest part with that, which, yeah, I think I'm going to go with this too. Because it's, yeah, I know it's yellow and pink and it goes with that washi. But I don't know, it's just, it's vibing with me. So let's go ahead and start with this Sunday one. I'm going to try to explain this here. I really wanted an ice cream cone. But at the same time, I really wanted a hot fudge sundae. I could not decide. So I literally made a hot fudge sundae in a bowl. And I threw a cone on top of it, and then I scooped the sundae into the cone and ate it. <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> Not healthy. <laughs> but, I mean, hey, you gotta do what you gotta do to get through these hot summer days. <laughs> so, if you have the same issue, I'm just telling you, pick both. And that seemed to be the thing here with these cheese raviolis. So, we're gonna get back to these. And... You know what? Yeah, this happy, uh, this happy year sticker book here, for some reason, it just hit me that there's this Live Colorfully Babe uh, sticker in here, and it is orange, so it does kind of go with this pink and yellow thing. So, yeah, 
I really wanted cheese raviolis, which was weird because I normally don't like those. I like the meat filled ones. And at the same time, I wanted cheese sauce. So like your everyday mac and cheese sauce. I wanted that on these raviolis <laughs> with peas. <laughs> I know you would swear I was pregnant, but I know I'm not. It's uh, just you, no. <laughs> so it's like, what is going on? Like, what is this heat doing? doing to me <laughs> but I just remember looking at it because I made hot sausage off to the side and I just remember looking at it whenever I made it and I was like this is seriously like the most colorful meal I have ever had <laughs> I had my yellows and oranges and reds and greens <laughs> I mean the only thing that would have made it better is if I would have had like blueberry pie off to the side okay so yeah it was like every color you could think of. So let's see here. Okay, let's rub Bert's back. That's hopefully going to help me think here. And okay, so this is the other odd thing that happened during the week. Okay, that is a little tooth chest. And I know the kids have been out of school since March, but we are finally just making it to the stage and gym area and <laughs> yeah i know sad we should have been here already so let's see here uh yeah so we were cleaning off the stage and i came across this little pink thing on the floor and i'm like what is this <laughs> i picked it up shook it around and i'm like what like what what, what is, is this like a little coin chest or something so we opened it up and apparently a child left their tooth saver chest at the school and it got shoved on the stage somehow so yeah uh some poor uh fourth or fifth grader uh left their tooth at the school and probably thought you know like hey i'll just get my tooth whenever we go back and yeah you never came back so i'm really hoping that you still got your money from the tooth fairy so i kind of feel bad for that kid but hey, you never know what you're going to find <laughs> when you're summer cleaning. And the other thing, which I know some of you are going to be like, why are you taking pictures of this? When I was out on break, okay, so I go outside on break to get some sunshine because really with 10 hour shifts, it's the only way you're getting it. I noticed these little black bugs walking around on some ivy in the corner and they're like so tiny okay like these things aren't even a half an inch long but they have these yellow spikes on them and i'm like oh my god like what is this thing like there are like hundreds of these like what are these scary looking little bugs so i googled it and it turns out that these are baby ladybugs <laughs> So something so non-threatening as an adult looks extremely terrifying as a baby. <laughs> so who would have knew? So yeah, if you catch these little black bugs in your garden and they have yellow spikes on them and they look extremely dangerous, have no fear. These are baby ladybugs and they're actually really beneficial to your plants. They eat aphids in that. So don't hurt these little bugs. <laughs> strange <laughs> oh rubbing bird's butt okay so yeah i i'm sorry i can't resist okay if he's laying in front of me i got to so let's go ahead and finish out the sidebar here with bert and then because it looks like we're going to be working with one page only for the remainder of this video so let's see here can i find another banner bar Maybe something that has to deal with love or, you know, sweet dreams, naps, summer vibe. Oh, this one's perfect. Okay, so this is a love this. And so I can center it. I'm going to snip off those edges there. And so it just kind of creates another diagonal like you see down below with that remember. And let's see here. This is Bert napping before I have to go to work. He is not a morning kitty either. He likes his naps. So, okay, one good memory here is that nothing makes me happier than watching this little guy get some Z's. Because, you know, again, I'm waking up at 4 a.m. So one of us should at least be getting the naps, all right? <laughs> 
So yeah, Bert sleeps for both of us. As you can tell, he's napping right now. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. I'm going to add in uh, this picture right here. So we're going to throw this one in. Uh, this is him actually behaving last week. Uh, he's sitting beside me in the chair while I film my plan with me. <laughs> instead of on film so you might not have seen him as much last week so yeah here is Bert planning with me again which I mean I do actually like it it's so nice whenever you're working in your planner and you got your best buddy sitting next to you it's nice and comforting pets are always great to have around and okay so then I got this last one and this is Mr. Burt sitting in the window. And this is one of the first things that I see as soon as I walk in the door after this long and grueling shift at work. So, heck yeah, I love coming home and seeing this face. Like, it instantly just puts you in the I am home mood. <laughs> Adorable. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and just put this off to the side and I'm going to bring out this one so that we can start working on this. And, okay, where do I want to start with this? Let's see here. There's so many choices and I guess it all depends on what sticker I find first. So, okay, I know I want a hot dog sticker. I want a hot dog sticker. I know there's one in one of these books. That is what I cooked on the grill. Like, we already had that cheeseburger meatloaf, as you can see, so yeah, let's go ahead and take a moment. Okay, so I got Bert off of <laughs> the planning area. I uh, kind of teased him with some nummies, so uh, let's see if that will give us some extra space. And I did kind of flip through some of the sticker books while I took that mini break there. And okay, so let's see here. Okay, so I was able to find little grills. Of course, I could find hot dogs and watermelons and some mores. And okay, so those aren't really what I'm looking for. Like, I really, 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 really want a freaking hot dog sticker. <laughs> kind of like how I really wanted hot dogs that day. So, okay, I know it's in here and I really want to use that sticker too, but it is too big. It just is. So, uh, yeah, I maybe need to use that in my bigger planner. And, okay, so there's the ends. So, let's see here. We're getting closer. And, okay, so I know there's one here. I know there is. And I can't remember if it's, like, on one of these white back ones. So, there's a burger. Okay, there's a hot dog right there. I mean, I can use him. But then, in another way, okay, yeah, I'm not finding it. I'm seeing the ice cream sandwich, the sunshine, the sandals. Okay, so there's the hot dog. I know there's one in here. And to me, it just looked too funny if I add that in there because all the rest of these are, I'm writing in the white area. So I don't want it to be unbalanced, and it will be as soon as I put that on there. Okay, there's the toucan. And, ah, there he is. Okay, so how did I go past that the first time? So there is my hot dog doodle. So let's see here. We're going to find my pinchers. Where are the pinchers? Right in front of me. Oh my god, guys, I'm losing it. Okay, so let's use this hooray for summer. So that's going to throw in that orange. We're going to throw that hot dog sticker down there. So I'm hot dogging and grilling. <laughs> Pick a yes, and where's that Ian? Okay, I know it's in here. There we go. Don't tease me, sticker book. I'm starting to lose it, guys. I'm swearing I see these stickers, and then I'm not, but I know they're in this book. And okay, so I might as well lay down the sticker for this Be Happy box, too, just so I know where exactly my writing room is. So, okay, let's see here. And you know what? This good vibes only. I'm digging this because uh, that was on Thursday, which is technically my Friday. We do the four tens, so Friday is my last official day. 
so let's see here good vibes only so thursday you're just like oh my god but it's like yay we're done and then i got to come home and my be happy box was waiting for me so yeah thursday was like the start to the weekend so let's see here this is the very first be happy box that i actually wanted to purchase <laughs> I know I'm sorry for those of you who are addicted to the uh, Be Happy boxes, but this was the first one that I was actually like, I can use all of those items, so I will purchase it. <laughs> and of course, the metal black disc, like, OMG. <laughs> and I can't believe that it's the five year anniversary for the Happy Planner brand. Like, I can't believe that they've been around for that long. So, that is super cool, too. So yeah, and of course I got to document my barbecue, which I was supposed to have on Saturday, but I had to wait until Sunday because it rained. But you know what? I finally got it and then it took me an hour to start a fire because let's face it guys, like I am not a fire starter. I'm not. It just fires terrorize or torment me or terrorize me, terrify me. Is that the word I'm looking for? And yeah, so I was afraid to get the fire going. I'm always afraid of something like a house catching on fire. <laughs> so I kept putting the fire out and I finally got it going. But yeah, I got my hot dogs cooked and they were wonderfully delicious. And okay, so here is my cheeseburger meatloaf. And okay, so yeah, hello weekend. I waited for you. And I'm going to keep this as a banner. I'm not going to trim this one. So let's see here. I'm just going to start off by saying cheese a burger. Because it was amazing, guys. I couldn't get the grill going, okay? Like, the weather wasn't working. So I had to improvise somehow. So we had cheeseburger meatloafs with frenchy fries. And of course, our lettuce was finally tall enough we could harvest it. Which, if you have not tried a narrow garden yet and you are into fresh veggies and lettuces, I highly recommend one. They are fantastic. So, uh, yeah, we finally got to harvest those. And, okay, so yeah, we had a very relaxing weekend that was full of good eats because I can't really think of what else to say about this. <laughs> There is only so much you could say about food, okay? There is. So I think that's all I'm going to do there. Save some white space. And okay. So that leaves me with this top. And oh, there is so much to talk about this. So uh, let's see here. Should I start with my coffee? Because that was Thursday morning. And <laughs> it was just like, oh, I'm going like, is this work week over yet? <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> I think yeah we may go ahead and just do another banner and I know that these are fireworks but they do have all of the colors of my layout in here so let's see here I am going to line this up and that's a little too long so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this to where I want the banner to end and I'm just going to drag it across and then this way it is the length that I want it and I'm going to use this as my label not quite sure how this is going to turn out so let's see here so i'm gonna write what can i write hmm thursday thank god it's thursday not enough room is work over yet okay how about coffee please because <laughs> i just needed that like extra boost like yeah we really needed that so let's go ahead and write that on here so coffee please and i may have to darken it up i'm not quite sure about that so yeah need the extra boost to get to the weekend which it did it provided me with that and let's go ahead and snip this and okay so it's coming together nicely and okay so here this is my tombow mono drawing pen it's the uh, size five and yeah, that's definitely going to darken that up for me. So now you can definitely see it. I mean, I'm not like really too happy with how it looks, but you know what? It's doing the job. <laughs> it's doing the job. I'm not going to complain. It's my memory planner. So 
Yep. And okay, so what else can I do? And I think this is in the Happy Year book. I'm remembering these AM PMs because this was all one day too. So this is Friday actually, which both of these photos are from. So mm, should I move that up? Let's move this up. Okay, so I had to go to the doctors in the morning, which sucked. It's like that yearly woman doctor's appointment. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, like we don't want to go there to begin with. And now during the whole like pandemic thing, like you really don't want to go. But you know, you got to keep yourself safe and healthy. So yeah, we went. And yeah, it was a little freaky to walk into the door. First off, you got to get like attacked with a thermometer. And of course you have to have your mask on and then you get quizzed and so you make it through checkpoint one and then there's a checkpoint two to make it through the second hallway of this building. Uh, there was a man that was refusing to wear a mask. They had to escort him off the premises. Um, yeah, you know, like things like that. So that's what I saw as I visited the kind uh, lady doctor. <laughs> Uh, he's a wonderful guy. I love him. Uh, <laughs> and um, yeah, so then afterwards I decided to come home and I was like, yeah, I'm going to relax. I'm going to go up back. I'm going to read, enjoy some sunshine. And this little baby deer, so a little baby fawn, started bouncing in the field next to my house. And I was like, oh, look how cute he is, you know. And all of a sudden this like big deer started charging towards me out from behind the bushes and it was stomping its little hoof and snorting and I was like oh my god what is going on and then it hit me like hey that's mama deer and uh yeah she was going to beat the crap out of me so I ran to my door like the wuss that I am and I ran and uh yeah so I got charged by a deer right after coming home from the lady doctor guys <laughs> so <laughs> Yeah, like I said, it was a good week, as you can see, but it was, like, really weird. There was really weird things that happened. <laughs> so, I'm really glad that we're in August. <laughs> so, so that you could see, like, what the finished thing here looks like. So, I used the HP Sprocket to print off my photos. Uh, that's a Stradleteer Tripless Fine Liner and, of course, that Tombow Mono Drawing Pen in the uh, Summer and Happy Year sticker books. So that's it. That's my finished memory layout for this week. And I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And please remember to subscribe to see more memory plan with me's.